Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Side by Side Chapter One. Today, we are going to be starting with our first lesson for the basic level, and this is Chapter One. You have already received your chapters if you came to the class physically in person, or I gave them to you um, also through the Google Classroom. So I would like to remind you, make sure you listen, make sure you repeat, say the words that I say, repeat after me, rewind the video, pause the video, stop the video, say it again and again and again, okay? And don't forget, complete all the exercises for the chapters. You can do it, I believe in you, here we go. So we're going to be talking about doing an introduction today. We're gonna to talk about personal information and meeting people. First of all, we're going to start with the alphabet. So I want you to repeat after me. A, B, remember you're gonna say the letter B, lips together, B, B, B. Next, C. D, E, F. To pronounce the F, you're going to put your top teeth with the bottom lip. F, G, H, I, J, K. L, M. When you pronounce the letter M, make sure your lips are closed, your mouth is closed. M, because when you pronounce the next letter, you're going to open your lips and let a little bit of the sound come out. When you say the letter N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V. Now, for this letter, you're going to put top teeth and the bottom lip. V, 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 V. W, X, Y. Z, and that last letter you have to make like the B sound, Z, Z. And there's a song that goes with this, so I'm gonna sing it to you. And I hope it will help you to learn it. Here we go. It goes like this. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? So I'm gonna type it here so you could sing it. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? All right. So. Practice it, repeat it, and the song will help you to learn it. Let's continue on. Repeat after me, number one. Um, let's do the numbers, here we go. Zero, it's with the letter Z. Zero, one, two. 
Now you're gonna put your tongue between your teeth and you're gonna make this sound. Let me hear you. And then you're gonna say the number. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Alphabet. Number two. Numbers. Name. Address. Telephone number. Or you can also say phone number. Let's move to the next page. Repeat after me. What's your name? What's your name? My name is Maria. What's your address? My address is 235 Main Street. Now notice here it says street. So I like to use this example. In Spanish, you have this name. And then you have this name. The first one is Stephanie. The second one is mouth closed, Stephanie. When you're going to pronounce here the letter S, you don't say S street. No, no, no. You say street. Next question. What's your phone number? My phone number is 741-8906. You can also say 8906. Those ways, both ways are correct. Next question. Where are you from? I'm from Mexico City. Well done. So when you see when you see here what's it actually stands for what is, what is, okay? But you pronounce it what's. All right, so now it's your turn. Answer these questions. And I want you to answer them out loud, okay? Here we go. What's your name? What's your address? What's your phone number? Where are you from? Excellent job. Let's move on to the next portion. So we're going to do a role play. Role play means when you pretend, you're pretending to be somebody famous. So interview a famous person, make up addresses. That means you're, you're, use your imagination, phone numbers and cities. Use your imagination. Practice with another student. Then use your role, your role play to the class. So you, then you're gonna present your role play to the class. So what's your name? You could say, my name is 
President Abraham Lincoln. What's your address? My address is one, two, three, Washington Place. What's your phone number? My phone number is 865-3942. Where are you from? I am from Washington, DC. So you're gonna use your imagination. So you're going to follow. You can take a picture of this with your phone and you're going to prepare four different examples. Write them down in your notebook. Write them in your chapter. Make sure you complete these four examples. And these are, this is helpful. These are some hints how to say, say certain things. So repeat after me. Hello, my name is Peter Lewis. Hi, I'm Nancy Lee. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And now you can practice with somebody else. So, hey, get somebody from your house, your child, your spouse, and practice. You can try having this full conversation up here. It is great practice when you can speak to someone else and they can speak to you. And I want you to practice reading this out loud, okay? Make sure you hear me and practice it after me. So make sure you pause the video. Repeat after me. What's your name? My name is David Carter. I'm, an, I'm American. I'm from San Francisco. My name is Mrs. Grant. My phone number is 549-2376. Remember, pause, repeat it, and review it again if you need to. My name is Miss Martinez. My telephone number is 213 Four, five, 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 five. My fax number is two one three six nine four five 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 seven. Let's continue on. My name is Peter Black. My address is 378 Main Street, Waterville, Florida. My license number is 921DCG. My name is Susan Miller. My apartment number is for B. Don't forget to pause and repeat. My name is Mr. Santini. My email address is Teacher Joe. Now, this thing here is pronounced. That's how you say it, at world net. And then this part over here, you say dot com. So my email address is teacher Joe at world net dot com so let's read the paragraph at the bottom repeat after me my name is william chen my address is 294 river street brooklyn new york 
my telephone number is 469-7750. My social security number is 044 three five nine eight six two now if you would like to know this little line here it's called a hyphen Okay. Well done. So now we're going to do a reading checkup. You have to match. So you're going to do this by yourself. I will do the first one for you. Name, which ones of these ones is a name? That is correct. Letter C. Number two, address. Which one in here is the address? Letter E, very good. Which one in here is the phone number? You do it. I'm not gonna tell you. Which one is the phone number? Which one is the apartment number? Number five, social security number. And which one is the email address? All right, time for a listening exercise. Listen up. I am going to ask a question and you have to listen to the question and to the answer and you have to circle the right answer. So I will let you listen and I will let you try it. Then I'll, give, I'll help you give you the answer. Here we go, number one, it says, What's your name? Mary Black. What's the answer, A or B? Very good, number two. What's your address? 265 Main Street. Very good, number three. What's your apartment number? 5C. Number four. What's your telephone number? 259-4087. Very good, number five. What's your social security number? Listen carefully. Oh, three, two, eight, nine, six, one, seven, nine. Is the letter A or letter B? Excellent. And the last one. What's your email address? Listen. Mary B hyphen at hyphen world net hyphen dot hyphen com. So I read it the way that you would see it written. That's how you say it. So I'll say it again. Mary B at world net dot com. Which is it? A or B? A. 
Very good. And now you're supposed to interview somebody in the class, but because you're not in the class, you can actually interview someone at home. So let's practice, repeat after me. What's your last name? Kelly. How do you spell that? K-E-L-L-Y. What's your first name? Sarah. How do you spell that? S-A-R-A-H. Well done. You are doing fantastic. Keep up the good work. And the last portion for today is the pronunciation piece. We have linked sounds. So when you see the fact that it says here, linked sounds, this means that the sound here, it comes together. So repeat after me. My name is Maria. So you see, name is, name is. My address is 10 Main Street. Address is, okay? My apartment number is 3B. Repeat after me. My name is David. My address is 9 River Street. My phone number is 941-2238. And to finish, you're going to write about yourself in your journal. So now, listen carefully. This is homework. Homework equals tarea. You have to write about yourself where? in your journal so you have to do this in your journal in your binder make sure you do it and let's review the chapter and everything we talked about today repeat after me am i am from mexico city is what's your name what is your name my name is maria r where are you from key vocabulary personal information name first name Last name, address, email address, telephone number, phone number, apartment number, fax number, meeting people, hello, hi, my name is you say your name. I'm nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Well, I have to say you did a wonderful job. So continue on working hard and don't forget complete all of the exercise on chapter one in the chapter and the workbook chapter. Keep up the good work, continue working hard. God bless you and I'll see you soon.